here. What's the benefit of using the, uh, the corner window as opposed to putting the windows <coughs> on, on, on the separate edges or sides of the, of the corner? So why would <coughs> why well, wouldn't we need to use this method? Well, first things first, if you create a, cor uh, a corner wall, a corner window, I think I will create it somewhere here. So if you create a, a corner window, you have the option to literally draw the contour of this of this uh, window. So uh, what I will do, I will just use the curtain wall corner window. What you need to do is you have to click on either this or the other side of this uh, wall. I will pick the in inner side because that's what I would like to then place as a layout on my drawing. Yeah, I would like to keep it keep that. Okay, and then I can draw also with existing values. I can I can type those. I can draw a shape, which then, when it's closed, I can set, set up panel by panel, set up the first panel, divisions, number of divisions, materials and everything else, also the mullions and then also the positions and the cross sections and everything like that. And when I've done that, I can do the same thing on the other side. Now let me just make a little change here to change the um, divisions to something else so we can see how they differ in the 3D. So this is what I've got here. Mm -hmm. So first I have modeled the left side and the right side because I have clicked on the inner part. So that's how it was uh, put as a layout here. And also, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, <coughs> also by, by, by putting down the 2D layout, you can customize its shape to be something uh, more fancy. Fancy, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Something more complicated. You can add, add curves and, and uh, additional nodes. So that's uh, another way to create a customized opening.